former CLC member Sorn recently sat down for a tell-all interview with the Thai YouTube channel. Dash last year, Sorn departed Cube Entertainment, also leaving CLC. In the interview, Sorn revealed the reasons behind her departure from the company, and more struggles idols faced under the company. Dash what many K-pop fans might not realize is that a lot of K-pop entertainment companies have CCTVs everywhere, including the training center to monitor trainees. So, management is always aware if they are slacking off. If caught slacking, the trainee would be marked with a warning sticker by their name on a board, and if a trainee accumulated a total of five stickers, it would result in being kicked out of the company. Dash Sorn was never kicked out. Instead, after two years of training, she was added to a rigorous training project. Dasha became so demanding that she dropped out of school, and even dressed in the training room, along with the other five project trainees. Eventually, it was so bad that the trainees even had mats in the room, so that whenever they finished too late at night, too exhausted even to walk, they could just sleep there. Dash the environment for a trainee was not good. It was both demanding and cold as they lived in fear of being eliminated. Dash Sorn said one time near when CLC was formed, Sorn and the Crystals were so tired that they laid down, looked at each other, and cried. They were so tired that they fell asleep in the practice room together. Dash K-pop groups are known to change their concepts with each comeback, but, in CLC's case, it was so frequent and drastic, that it would exhaust the members, and some couldn't help but wonder if it was a primary reason why CLC wasn't always successful. Dash they checked fans' feedbacks and saw comments of fans expressing similar concerns. It was a song that members thought meshing with their characters well and was responded positively, but, the agency changed concept again next comeback. Members were very frustrated, singing songs and wearing costumes they disliked. One day, they discussed they should not just let the agency drag them by noses and fought for themselves. They discussed what concept they wanted and Sorn was assigned for presentation. The result were Hockoblin, Black Dress and No. Dash Heine gave some advices for Hockoblin presentation. Before the promotion, the agency forced members to be very slim, but, humans were born differently, and someone just could not reach that level of thinness. Heine was the one spoke out a stylist to pick clothes that fit the member, that emphasized each member's good points, not force the member to fit the cloth. Dash unfortunately, Sorn was often blamed for CLC's failures. Netizens would cyberbully her for this very reason. Dash yet, she tried to remain positive as depression was still a taboo topic in Korea. So, she attempted to focus only on family, friends, and the kind-hearted fans who would message her sincere, encouraging words. Dash when it came time for members to decide whether to renew their respective contracts, they all had communicated to Cube Entertainment that they wanted to continue promoting as CLC. The company had different plans, though. Dash instead, Cube Entertainment wanted each member to promote individually. The girls did not see a reason to stay with the company, if they were no longer going to be CLC. Around this time, Choi Yujin decided to participate in Girls Planet 999. Although it was already decided that Sorn would not renew her contract with Cube Entertainment, she postponed announcing it out of fear that the news could negatively affect her fellow CLC member. Dash now that Sorn has moved on from Cube Entertainment and is signed under Wild Entertainment, she hopes to continue growing as a music artist, challenging herself with different styles. So far, the agency has been supportive as a friend even manages it. Currently, Sorn is promoting her new single, Save Me. Like the interview, the song will discuss the toxicity of the entertainment industry, revealing her struggles. Dash while every CLC member is exploring their own path currently, Sorn did share they are truly like sisters. So, she emphasized that they hope to regroup in the future if possible. Meanwhile Cube Entertainment has continually been criticized by fans due to the poor handling of CLC's disbandment.